how is this whole universe designed? <laughs> Depends on what chakra we're looking through, you know. So uh, each chakra for me is a, a different point of view. It's like we have seven channels on our television set. And if we go to the deepest part of who we are, we can say uh, there's only one thing we really know for sure. And that is uh, that uh, I would say we are each, but we don't even know if there's a we, you know. So what I can say is I exist as a point of consciousness experiencing something. And uh, if I'm talking to someone out there, I can say you only know that you exist as a point of consciousness experiencing something, and maybe you're not even sure if there's really a Martin Brofman, or if he's just a figment of your imagination. The only absolute truth is I am. That's all you really know for sure, and everything else can be made up. And from that point of view, we can say... Um, this entire universe is nothing more than a dream that you're dreaming, uh, a movie that you're playing for yourself for your own private purposes or your own amusement, uh, whatever that may be. And uh, I've heard um, Paramahansa Yogananda express it like that. So, for that, so that's a point of view. This is all just uh, a movie, a dream you're walking through. And if it's a dream that you're walking through where you are the only consciousness that um, is involved in, in what is happening, then uh, you can take the position of a lucid dreamer, for example, uh, who's dreaming a dream but aware that they're dreaming and saying, wait a minute, you know, if this is a dream that I'm dreaming and I know it's my dream, then I can change the dream by deciding I want things to happen like that. And then things will happen then like that. Uh, the dream will change and you'll then watch a new dream unfolding from that point of view. So that's a point of view. That's a perspective on what this entire universe um, is about. And we can say everything is just a metaphor, you know, and if we go down to the deepest level of what we understand scientifically. You know, the, the smallest biological unit is just um, a cell. And the cell is made of uh, molecules. And molecules are made of atoms. And atoms are made of particles and spaces. And those particles are made of smaller particles. And those are made of little black holes and little white holes with positive charges and negative charges. That's what I understand is, is at the deepest part of, of what we see on the, the physical level. And if we take, uh, so we can say that patterns of these black holes and white holes make up the smallest of what we call particles in the physical universe, these quarks and neutrinos and gluons and patterns that have Patterns of those make up the larger particles, and patterns of those make up the cell, and patterns of those make tissue, and patterns of those make organs, and patterns of organs make the organism. And so, in this entire organism, all we're made of is little black holes and little white holes with positive charges and negative charges. And if we take a rocket into space and we look at the Earth moving around the sun, we can say it looks like an electron moving around a nucleus. And we can see the solar system... Uh, as somehow looking like an atom in a larger molecule that we call a galaxy. And out there, there are other galaxies, other molecules, and maybe those are part of a larger structure, some enormous cell, and beyond that, who knows? So we can say it looks the same out there as it looks in there. We see black holes and white holes out there also. So maybe it's all a metaphor that just keeps doubling up on itself and uh, showing us something about uh, something. So it's, it's a point of view. And then there's another point of view. We can say from the level of the brow chakra, I am uh, attracting to myself according to the pictures I put in my consciousness, according to my desires, according to my fears, according to my beliefs. And, and if all of these uh, little blips on my television set that look like other people, you know, maybe inside there, each one of them is a consciousness doing the same thing that I'm doing. 
and attracting to themselves as the function of their beliefs and the pictures they put in their consciousness, their wishes, their desires. And so this becomes a, an incredibly complex machine interacting, uh, each of us attracting to ourselves the people and experiences in accord with our beliefs and uh, each one of us, if you wish, being the star of our movie with our all our friends and their supporting roles and their uh, favorite roles is a way I've heard it uh, described. And each one of them is the star in their movie and we're just a walk on part in their movie. And it's an interesting point of view. And if we're looking at it as uh, I'm in here and projecting a dream around myself, uh, like my bubble, uh, just I, I'm the um, projector, and you are a consciousness in there, and you're projecting your dream around yourself as your bubble, you know, and these, these two dreams interpenetrate, we can say then where they meet is what we choose to call physical external reality, and then the things that happen in this physical external reality is the result of the points of consciousness involved in that event. So if I see healing from that point of view, then the things that happen on the physical level in the healing will be the results of the points of consciousness involved in that event. And then we see things that are going beyond perceived physical limits, going beyond what we call the laws of chemistry and biology and physics. And it's not that we're breaking those laws, it's just that we're obeying different laws. We, we can look at it as, as just something to play with, uh, as I say, a what-if uh, model. Um, we can choose to take it seriously or not, but uh, more interesting for me would be um, if things are really like that, um, can I do something with that? Can I do something with that? Is there a usefulness to entertaining this idea? and in exploring these alternative realities. And then I find healing is a, a really interesting thing to apply these ideas to, and in fact to see uh, a positive uh, effect of applying these ideas.